I was out fishing yesterday and the water was really low. So the shallow bite just wasn't really happening and I kept trying. I was at this point throwing a square bill and I noticed there was some grass. There's grass in this cove right here. It was about 14 yeah. feet underneath me. Um, and I kind of just kept casting with the square bill and I was watching the fish finder and I could see the grass down there and I could was marking fish in it as well and, and a lot of activity so I thought well this isn't working let me grab my deep diving crankbait I was in about 15, 14 to 16 feet of water all sorts of grass right here. so I have a 6xd crankbait that dives about 19 feet I think and I thought let's tie it on and throw it in this grass 16 feet deep figured 19 would be good and see if I can get a reaction strike from one of these big bass down there I, I mean I was just marking them like crazy so I was making a mental note of where the grass was and here's where I decide alright I'm gonna tie on the crankbait so I reach back grab my crankbait box and um, grab the 6xd and tie it on I don't have a ton of crankbaits, but I have square bills, some 8 to 10 footers, 10 to 12 footers, and I had just got the 6 XD to, for, to take care of the deep diving stuff. Oh, God, there's still grass here. Threw it on there, and I circled back around, and I started throwing casts at the grass. First couple of casts, I was throwing it too far to the right. I wanted to get closer to the shoreline there. But I was just chucking it out there and reeling it. I was stopping and dragging it a little bit too. But I think these casts were all too far to the right. And then I finally get some to the left there where I wanted it. I just kept throwing it and didn't think much of it. That was a good cast. That was in the direction I wanted it to be. I think this is... The Maybe it's the next cast. Yeah, I think it's this one. It's about like seventh or eighth cast. And I just start cranking. Oh. Now here's where I felt it something. It wasn't a huge bite. It was just like it swallowed it and yeah. swam off. It, it it wasn't a huge bite. So I didn't really yeah, know I had a fish, fish until just then. <laughs> And then I was just, you know, trying to keep the, the rod down. Drag needed to be set right. It was a brand new setup. Cast King reel and rod that I got for Father's Day. Nope, and nope, at that nope. point when it jumped, I knew it was a big boy. I knew it was over five. On, Grabbed my net, on, and it made one more run Whoa. for it here. Whoa. And I knew, I mean, look, it was, it was, Maybe a seven it was a big fish. And I was just thinking, Come hang on. on. Come on. Huge. Got Good. it in the net, and totally. yeah, I knew it was going to be Shit. at least six pounds. I was hoping it was going to be bigger. This, but... this might be the biggest fish I've ever caught. Look. Bass. Six pounds, perhaps? Let's see, 6.3, 6.3 pound bass, baby. So I thought I'd just make this video for anybody else that, like me, generally fishes shallow and uh, is pretty confused when it comes to fishing deep. Um, just keep an eye on those fish finders and you are one maybe good things will happen. Big, beautiful fish.